there are several modes available for controlling effect parameters in mix emergency. Internal, position, velocity and base. The internal control mode allows the user to control effect parameters using the parameter control knob. In this first example, we can see that turning the parameter control knob adjusts the color separation parameter of the RGB effect. The position control mode allows the user to control effect parameters using the current play position of the media. The control knob now adjusts the rate at which the effect parameter changes. In this example, we can see how manipulating the media position also adjusts the rotation parameter of the rotate effect. The velocity control mode allows the user to control effect parameters using the current velocity of the media. This can be controlled using the velocity mapping graph. This graph maps velocity on the horizontal axis to the effect parameter on the vertical axis. A small green indicator helps to show where the current velocity is mapped. In this first example we see the velocity when playing double speed, normal speed, stopped, normal speed in reverse, and double speed in reverse. This very simple graph can become a very powerful tool once you understand the basics, and you will very quickly and easily be able to adjust it to obtain greater control over your effects. For example, this following graph only applies effect parameter changes when manipulating the media in reverse. The base control mode allows the user to control effect parameters using the base levels of the audio in the currently playing media. This mode is currently only available when Mix Emergency is used as a plugin. A graph similar to the velocity mapping graph is used to control this mode. The time since the base level trigger the effect is mapped to the horizontal axis, while the vertical axis remains mapped to the effect parameter. The following examples use the base control mode to control the effect parameter. Okay.